Hello darlings, welcome to the weekend. Let me tell you this, there's very dramatic energy around at the moment. The moon is joyfully, briefly conjuncting Jupiter, the planet of good fortune, but also Saturn and Pluto. So there's a lot of intense feelings. Yes, there is. To do with change, to do with transformation, to do with kind of making things happen. Uh, but it's almost like there's, there's also a lot of, thanks to Mercury and Mars, there's also a lot of aggression and me, 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 and everybody wanting things their own way. Now, the moon is very tender, so there's a lot of emotions flying about. and But there's also this sense of um, people tempted, or all of us, in fact, tempted to say ultimatums because we're, we feel like we have to fight for our own emotional need. So it's really important that we look inside and try and find compromise and try and look at the situation before any big drama, dr emotional dramatics this weekend. Now, fortunately, we have uh, the moon going into Aquarius and there's this, um, and also, also of course we've got the sun in Libra. We've got this sense of detachment, a Mercury in Libra, over the, the towards the end of the weekend and we're able to kind of distance ourselves from the intense emotions and, and intellectualize what's going on. So we're able to think about maybe some painful emotions and look at ways that we can deal with that, deal with it without being too dogmatic or too kind of, you know, when we fight for our emotional needs by being angry or dominant, it doesn't work. Because frankly, what do we all want? We want harmony. We want harmony within ourselves. We want harmony in our relationships. Now, I think it's Monday when Mercury shifts signs and goes into Scorpio. That's very intense. It's taking us on a new level where we're going to feel things and see things and want to explore mysteries and talk about the mysteries of ourselves. But also it involves a lot of primal emotions. So we're, we're, we're looking at those primal emotions. But the good thing about Mercury going into Scorpio, it, it slightly disperses the heavy, intense energy that we've been going through with Mars and with Saturn and, uh, you know, Pluto. What's she after? So keep running around. So even though it's Mercury and Scorpio and it's very intense, she's chasing a mouse or something. I don't know. There are so many creatures in this house. Um, even though it's very intense, it kind of frees us to kind of turn our energy in a new direction. So it's time to think about what we want, but also how we can compromise and not get caught up in dramatic moments. And Libra is all about harmony and compromise, you know, it's about finding the middle way with us all. And, and that is the most powerful way, looking at our stuff rather than projecting out um, energy on other people. So it's like, it's very easy if we're upset or vulnerable to go, bah, 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 you did this, you did that, you did the other, rather than owning our stuff and working on our stuff, because that is when we can truly transform things. Anyway, I better go before the parrot poos on the sofa. I hope you have a fabulous weekend. Now, Moon Conjunct Jupiter is very releasing, very optimistic, and, and gives us high hopes about emotional expansion. So there is a lot of positive going on as well. You take care, you beautiful divine creature, and I'll see you soon.